Hello children. Before we begin, I wanted to show you a picture I got from one of the families. This is Alan, and he is very interested in learning about how his body works. And this is a model he made to help show how his lungs work. Our lungs are what we use to breathe. And his mom also sent the website that they use to learn how to make this model so that I can share it with you. Well, I thought that was really neat and I got kind of inspired, meaning I saw what Alain did and I got some ideas of my own. And <laughs> the idea was make one of those models too. So I did and I'd like to show it to you. So let's get started. Well, this is the model that I made, like Alain's. Um, here are the different parts. This is the nose. Does it kind of look like my nose? This is the nose and the mouth. Um, and here are the lungs. And that's where the air goes into. And these baggies are going to represent when the lungs get bigger or they expand when they're full of air. And then these straws here, I'll turn it around so you can see better. These straws here represent the trachea. That's also known as the windpipe. That's how the air goes in and gets down to our lungs and then goes back out when we breathe out. So what I'm gonna do is blow into the windpipe and the straws and that should show how, well, we'll pretend that instead of blowing into it, we'll pretend that the nose is inhaling. These bags filled up just like our lungs fill up when we breathe, when we inhale, breathe in. And then when we exhale, we breathe out, the lungs get smaller again and the wind comes out, 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 out our mouth or our nose, depending on how we're exhaling. Let me do that again, ready? I'm gonna blow into this and that's gonna represent, we'll pretend that the nose is breathing in. And now let's pretend that it's breathing out. Exhaling. That's a wonderful model. Alan, thank you so much for sharing that with me. I had really a lot of fun trying that. And um, the link, the way to get to the website to teach you how to do this is in the description of this video. So you can try it with your grown-ups at home. Children, let's take our hands and put them on our rib cage. Our ribs are our bones. You can probably feel them that go this way. And they make up our rib cage, which is a structure that helps protect our lungs. They keep our lungs safe because our lungs are very squishy and soft and uh, we want them to be safe. So the rib cage protects them. And when we breathe in through our nose, we might notice that our rib cage expands, that is gets bigger, to make room for our lungs as they get bigger when they fill up with air, just like we saw those baggies expand on our model. That's what happens with our lungs. So let's put our hands on our rib cage and take some deep breaths, ready? See, my rib cage went out. And then it went back. Isn't that amazing? Let's count the bears. One, two. Now let's count the trees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, tucked behind there, eight, nine, ten. Ten trees and two bears. Well, children, today, in addition to talking about breathing and lungs, I'd like to talk about trees. I wonder why? Well, trees are sometimes called the lungs of the planet. Trees? How could trees be lungs? They're not squishy and soft. 
And they're not under a rib cage or inside a, a body of an animal. Hmm. Well, trees make oxygen. They give it off and put it out into the world. And the oxygen is what we breathe. So trees help us breathe. They help our whole planet breathe. Trees. It's amazing. You want to go outside with me and look at a tree? Let's do it. Children, I'm sitting by one of my favorite trees. It's a maple tree. I can tell it's a maple tree because of the leaf. That is a maple leaf. One day we'll do a preschool meeting just about leaf shapes. That would be fun. I love this tree for many reasons. One of them is I love the way the roots look. You can see so many of the roots above the ground. And I also love it because of the beautiful shade it gives. And it's a great tree for swinging. And my sons have a couple of swings on this tree and they like to hang out here together. Get a little time away from mom and dad. <laughs> so it's a wonderful tree. Um, and it gives us oxygen. So sometimes when you see a tree, you might want to take a moment and say, thank you tree. Thank you. Thank you for the oxygen. So thank you, maple tree. Thank you for helping us breathe. Well, we have a very special story time today. Miss Jana came by my house and she read a story about a tree. Can't wait to share it with you. Hello, boys and girls. It's Miss Jana here. I'm here to read you a story today and it's called Tap the Magic Tree by Christy Matheson. And if you look at the cover, you might get some clues as to what's gonna happen in this story. Tap the Magic Tree. So it's a storybook, but it's, we also need to do some things while we read the story. There's magic in this bare brown tree. Tap it once, turn the page to see. Can you see what's happened there? There's a leaf starting to grow. Tap again. One, two, three, four. There's the leaf, and now there's one, two, three, four more. Now tap again, even more. Ooh, look at all the leaves, just like the trees have leafed out here. Rub the tree to make it warm. Has some little pink buds starting to grow on the branches. It says, touch each bud and see what forms. Let's see what's going to come from each of those buds. <gasps> Beautiful flowers. Give the tree a little jiggle. petals all flew down to the ground. That's it. Now make your fingers wiggle. Brush away the petals, swish, and blow the tree a tiny kiss. Look what's going to happen. Can you tell what's on the tree now? Where those blossoms were some beautiful apples that are growing. It says shake the tree. Plop, 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 plop. The, the apples fell down. It says knock, knock on the trunk. Then stop. Hmm. Ooh, now look what's happening. 
turned a beautiful yellow and orange. Pat the leaves, gentle please. Oh, and look, there's a little squirrel eating some apple. Look what's happened now. Aha, now blow a whooshing breeze. go the leaves. Clap your hands to bring, let's see, can you guess what's coming next? <gasps> the snow. Snow is falling, the tree is bare. Okay, be patient. Hmm. See what's next. <gasps> Can you see the little bluebird here? It says, wait, don't go. Can you see the bird made a little nest there? It says, close your eyes and count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <gasps> Magic! It begins again. Look, there's the leaves starting to grow again and a baby bird in the nest. Did you guess that the tree started out in the early spring and it grew some leaves and then buds and flowers and then in the summertime it made apples and into the fall when it turned colors, the leaves turned colors and fell off, and then it snowed in the winter. And then, of course, it's gonna start back to spring again. All right, thank you very much for helping me with that story. I hope you're enjoying the beautiful springtime weather, and pretty soon it will be summer. We'll see you later, bye-bye. Miss Janet, thank you so much for reading that book to us. It was wonderful to see how the tree changed over the seasons. And children, I wanted to show you something. When Miss Janet got home, she sent me this picture of an apple tree in her yard that is flowering, just like happened in the book. Do you remember in the book when the apple tree had flowers on it? That's how Miss Janet's tree looks right now, but it won't always look that way, right? It changes. The flowers will go away and the apples will grow and then the leaves will fall off and it will be winter but then it will be spring again and the leaves will come back and the flowers will come again that's pretty amazing children thank you so much for joining for preschool meeting i had a really nice time with you and i look forward to next time uh, i think i'm gonna have a swing now don't tell my boys <laughs>